Hey everyone, Rob here, and we have some more updates. And it's November 29th. We got some updates on the Grimsvat volcanic system and uh, the rate at which the ice cave is actually sinking down is seems to be accelerating day by day. I mean, yesterday it was 3.3. Earlier today, I posted a quick update in the comments there that it was just over four, and now it has sunk by almost five meters. Now, hydrometers, hydrometers, sorry, from the meteorological office, um, they were put on the banks and they were being checked today, banks of the river, and uh, scientists were going there to look at the measuring equipment, and just before noon, the flow of the river was measured at 240 uh, meters cubed per second, hopefully I'm saying that right, and has remained unchanged when they made the announcement at uh, just before 5 p.m. in Iceland. They made the announcement of that uh, measurement. Now, But based on the measurements of the water level in Grimsvat, the maximum flow of the run can be 5,000 meters cubed per second, which is uh, 20 times what they're looking at right now, which is a huge, huge amount of water coming through. Although it's not possible... For them to officially say that this is going to be the case, uh, we can guess that that's roughly where it might end up based on historical facts and uh, what they have now. Now, what we're actually looking at here in front of us, this chart was put out and it was based on the measurements carried out by the University's Institute of Earth Sciences, and that's the University of Iceland, and you can see top left. Now this indicates that about 0.1 uh, kilometers cubed of water has already left the lakes, which is, they're saying, is about 10% of the water that was in Grimsvot before the iceberg began to sink. However, it's not given that the water is, uh, you know, going to drain completely. So it's, it's one of those things that we're still keeping an eye on, but uh, point. This is yeah, such a small amount of water, 0.1 kilometers cubed of water is uh, only 10%. And so we never know if all of a sudden this rush of water, as someone pointed out in one of the other comments, it's kind of like a tsunami of glacial water coming out. And it's it's not a quick thing. It's a, it's a steady flow for quite some time. But uh, they're keeping a very close eye on this. The other thing that someone pointed out on one of the earlier comments as well, let's take a look at some pictures as we're talking about this, is that um, this buildup and this amount of water being built up is actually a lot more than there has been in previous eruptions where the Jokerhleip has come and caused an eruption. So it's very interesting to see, or will be interesting to see, when this finally does give out and when this Jokerhleip and this glacier flood pushes through and it sort of overruns the, I guess, sand area of Iceland. If we take a look at the maps, we can see where it is. Is You can see here Grimsvot is over here, right by Vatnajökull here, right underneath there. And all that water typically you can see down here in this area where it's sandy. This is where a lot of the water comes and flows out. Now, this is also just a fun fact as we're here, part of the area that was the most difficult to build to connect the ring road around Iceland, which is the uh, the ring that goes all the way around the entire country. It was this area here that was the most challenging for a number of reasons. Obviously, it's sandy, but then you have these glacial floods. And if you have driven here before or you're planning on driving in this area, you can stop and see they do have an area that is basically a, a memory of a past bridge that was destroyed due to a Jokoflip. So you can see part of a damaged bridge in this area. But this is where a lot of the water is most likely going to come out. But also, of course, it can go through the back and, and off to the sides. But you can see here, definitely a lot of the glacial runoff comes down here. So that's just a quick update. Wanted to give you that. Let you know that uh, yeah, the, the ice cave at Grimsbot is sinking more and more every day. We're at five meters and uh, it looks like it's building up to something big. Thankfully, it's on the other side of the country and hopefully there's not that many people that live here. Uh, but hopefully it doesn't disturb too many lives as we can 
hopefully you witness this something a bit more there was one actually another thing i wanted to mention a lot of people are wondering if they're going to put webcams up in the area there's a couple very challenging things dealing with putting up live feeds one you can see where it is it's in the middle of a glacier there are huts and things like that up there but to make matters worse it is coming into the middle of winter or beginning of winter in Iceland. Uh, today in Reykjavik, there's a bunch of snow and it's definitely very harsh conditions getting up here. And cell phone signals are not usually the best. So I think that they are gonna do what they can in order to get visibility should something happen. But yeah, we will see. I would not uh, anticipate that there will be as much live coverage as there was on Fagrosfeldt. But we will see. So just, uh, yeah, quick update. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And I love all the comments. So if I'm ever wrong, please, please correct me. Because uh, I know a lot of people watching this also want to have all of your great correction comments uh, or additional information in the comments to, you know, learn all together. So until next time, which will probably be tomorrow because this is constantly changing. Thank you so much for watching.